What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl, Skitten. Uh, here for some more weekly Twitter advice. You know, we're, what are you, stop moving. Ignore the llama over there. It's not important. Bad llama. <laughs> Can you see yourself in the camera? Mm -hmm. Just, like tilt it, yeah, tilt it down. Can you see now? <laughs> what up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl, Skitten. I have a special guest here. This gorgeous, gorgeous llama. So <laughs> soft and fluffy. I think maybe it's an alpaca. Does it being an alpaca make it better? No? Okay. <laughs> this alpaca is a fan of Bimo, apparently. Bimo's a character. I don't know who that is. All right, do you guys want to know who's under the llama hat? I feel like you already know. Do you guys want to know? I need a drum roll, ready? All right, you can take off the head now. Oh, thank God. It's the gorgeous, amazing, wonderful Dr. X! Known as Dr. Girlfriend. I think I need a new, new name. I bet you that's the pizza guy. Pizza! <laughs> Okay, Chavez is handling the pizza situation. I wasn't doing anything weird in your camera. What did you do? Nothing. I'll find out later. No, you won't. He's gonna put crazy music to it. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, he was closing the door. One more what? thing. What? Get out! One more. <laughs> no, don't you know that. Ooh, you're so violent. <laughs> We are here for weekly Twitter advice featuring Dr. X. I'm so excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. No, she's been promising me we're gonna do videos together. <laughs> we're gonna do videos together for literal months. And instead we just get drunk. It's fine. Speak for yourself. I'm a child of God. In front of my homework. <laughs> Stupid. All right, so we're gonna start here. I know you, you don't watch my videos because you don't love me. Best. It's fine, but we're gonna start with question one. I did not think you would do that to me, so we're gonna fight. <laughs> Wait till this camera is off. <laughs> I'm about, she thinks she's I'm cute. about to get beat up, y'all. Okay, so you gotta have your face on like that side. No, other side. The other side. The other. You're, they're not gonna be able to see your face. It's gonna be covered by the Twitter question. Scoot, scoot your chair. What do you want from me? Okay, scoot your chair over. Now, where put am your I face to... in the frame. There. Hold it there. Don't move. <laughs> All right, we're starting with question one. Do you want to read this one? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Oh, I should have got press on nails so I could have been you for this video. Damn. Question one. My Haitian girlfriend moved in with me last year. We've agreed to budget, but she always breaks it. In bed, we argued about it, and then out of nowhere, she straddled me and started beating me with her large breasts. <laughs> I was confused and aroused. Is this a cultural thing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait. This question was not asked in good faith. You know that's not a cultural thing. <gasps> Wait. How big are they? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You know, I know. I think I've seen this. I think I think I've seen this in places on the internet. And you know, I'm so concerned. I'm not here to kink shame. What part of him is she beating with her large, like his face? His face. Obviously. How big are they then? They're big. That, I don't even know if I have any advice for that question. What there was no real question. He's not even saying how can I get her to stick to a budget. He's just like, so she. She hit me with her boobs and I liked it. <laughs> do all Haitians do this? Should I get another Haitian girlfriend? <laughs> I need a new Haitian girlfriend who can stick to a budget, but will also beat me with her breasts. Yes, yes, that's all I ask for. Do you only want to stick to Haitians or are you looking at all of the Islanders? He just wants to know who will take their large chest and smother him with it. No, not smother, beat. Cause that's better. I don't know. That's Apparently it is. I'm moving on from this question. This was not a good question. I didn't choose I this. promise this is not normally what weekly Twitter advice is like. Y'all are into some weird stuff. I, mm. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. Okay. I'm gonna read question. See, I was ready for you because I knew. I knew. Mm. 
My son, he's 19, begged me to take him to meet his dad, JB. Justin Bieber. JB forged credit cards and is serving a 30 year sentence. He sends letters, promises to reconnect when he's put, paroled. We get to prison and JB is clearly someone's wife now. He says it's just for prison. Advice. I, I don't know how to help you. These are bad questions. What kind of advice do you want us to give you? I took my son to meet his dad, presumably for the first time. Right. And he has a prison husband, and I have to explain this. No, you don't. You it just. I mean, I feel like if your son is 19, he probably knows. He definitely knows, and yeah, he's got to work that out on his own. Yeah, he's got to deal with that. By him. he's a man now. <laughs> you are. You can wash your hands of this now. You are a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? I don't know what to say. It's this just for prison, okay? It's just for like, like out, even out of prison. I don't really need to know what my parents are doing. To, you, to be honest, then I guess my question to you for this is, and let me pose you with a question. Okay, hit, do hit you me, feel hit. like prison sex affects who you are outside of prison? Like, do you think? having sex in prison like if you're a dude and you have sex in prison with another dude yep. does that make you gay it doesn't make you gay it makes you a man who has sex with men and it does change who you are as a person because maybe you learned you like penis or at the very least you like stuff in your butt yeah like you learn something new about yourself right you're changed you're different but does it but see because i feel like I don't know if it makes you gay or not. There are so many people who bone men who say they're not gay, so maybe, True facts. maybe it doesn't make you gay. Maybe not. People are gay for pay and they say, I'm not gay, I'm straight, I just have bills. I feel like gay for pay doesn't work the same for women. It does not. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> I can't just like have sex with other rich women and they pay my bills. I mean, hello! So, <laughs> <laughs> so. Sugar mama, sugar daddy, sugar, oh, sugar babies don't pay my bills. Never no, mind, sugar, you don't want any no. sugar babies. No, can't not. afford you. Please get out of my life. <laughs> that was a hard second question. That was a weird second what question. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that, and we want nuanced answers, okay? Yeah. None of that, none of that, like, that's gay. We don't want none of that. I mean, Put that away. How do you guys feel about this? How would you explain it? I know I have some married mamas out there. I have some non-married mamas out there. I got some mamas out there. How would you explain it to your kids? Tam, that was- Why do you even have to explain? Like, what I'm saying, like, what is the question here? Let's see, I'm assuming that maybe her son wants to talk about it. How does she, how do you talk about it with your son? I personally would do what my parents did and just not talk to my kids about sex ever. And then when my kids finally totally have healthy. sex, make them feel terrible about it. That's yeah, what I would yeah. do. Very healthy is what I plan on doing with my children. There you go. Keep it going. Just never address it. Nope. Except to t say that people who have sex are whores. Oh. Yeah, capital everything. Yeah, whores, hard R. Like, yep, whores. But I'd like to point out, dude's serving a 30 year sentence, so I'd probably just be like, who? Also, I'm assuming, like I'm kind of assuming that she is not going for conjugal visits. No, nope. yeah, so he's gonna be like, I wanna talk about this, and I'm gonna be like, who is that you visit? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, know what sex is. I never. I don't no. have sex. You just appeared. Not even that. I, this, so you're just visiting strangers in jail? That's that's really you're nice. You're so to bad. Prisoners are people too. Okay, but exes aren't. I support that. <laughs> I support that. Okay, we're gonna move on to question three. I didn't yell this time. I know because you knew I was no please, for your sensitive please, ears. Please, if I had a good yelling voice, you'd be done right now. <laughs> Question three. See, I'm delicate and she's aggressive, so. We've been together 10 years, two children, living together for six. After we attended his cousin's wedding, I asked why he didn't marry me. Him, you're comfortable with this life. I may be destined for something else. Can't have a wife to complicate that. And nice. Leave him! <laughs> Leave! <laughs> I'm glad you waited for me to stop. The sentence so you can shout. Them. I wanted I wanted to give you your dramatic pause. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wanna, she gave all the advice. Leave him! Wait, 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 what? wait, wait. They do have two kids. Leave him! Leave him! I mean he kinda said he if, doesn't want to be with you. If I was gonna say, if you want marriage and he's not willing to give it to you, why are you still there? Yeah, she didn't even ask him, like, oh, do you think we could get married? She was like, why haven't you married me yet? 
And he was like, I don't plan on it. Yeah. Why would I? Like, and I hate that phrase like, why, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I fucking hate that phrase. But like, literally, you are being a wife to this man and he doesn't deserve you. So go be a wife slash non-wife to somebody else. You should find out if there's common law. You should find out if there's common law where you are and then wait a year and then divorce him. Yes. Get his money. I'm just saying, I feel yes. like you earned it. Ten years, two kids. Ten years. That's Ten not a break. Like, you have to separate your lives. Everything. Holy And it doesn't sound like he wants to be a dad, so I feel like you would get cussed. Like, he just sounds like, eh. eh. I destined for something else. What does that mean? What else could you possibly be destined for? I mean, when I hit 50, I might win the lottery and then I want to, you know, marry a bad bitch and you not have any kids. Hugh so. Hefner it? Yeah. Hugh yeah. Hefner it? I don't know what advice you're looking for, girl, because all I can say is leave him, get paid for it. You know, this is the one time when I feel like even though there's no cheating involved, the hope biscuit chorus applies. You gotta cut him. You gotta burn his shit. And then you gotta leave him. What kind of advice are you giving? Is this a thing you tell people? Hashtag Hope Biscuit Course. Yes, it is. The Hope Biscuit Course. Wait, what did you think? You were so into it at first. What did you think I was gonna say? I didn't know. I was just being supportive. Well, I appreciate your support. I was like, we're counting? I'm counting. Yes. So you gotta cut him. Yes. You gotta burn his stuff. Yes. And then you leave him. Isn't that last one redundant? You cut him and you burn him. <laughs> Not him. It's that yeah. thing. So you're going to jail. I think you're. I did see this thing where this chick was like, um, yeah, I stabbed him. And I tried to fight his mom. Two kids later, we're still together. And I'm like, <laughs> so he doesn't love himself at all. But like, like if you stab me, if you, if you cut me, we're over. Are, we, no are we done? Yes. <laughs> Are, yes. you, are you sure? If you cut me, we're done. If you burn my thing, <laughs> we're done. What if it's only like half of the things? If you could burn a Snickers and I'm like getting all of my things, I'm like, oh, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> like Joanne the scammer. <laughs> Is it my, my Caucasian home? Oh, no. Oh, no. So, yeah. Cut him, burnish it, leave him. Hashtag hope is good course. I, I mean, it applies, even though there's no cheater. I usually only give that advice to cheaters. I like mean, to people who are victims of cheating. It's like he's cheating. pre cheating. It's kind like of. He, he's like, I didn't marry you, so I wouldn't be caught cheating on my wife. It's just a pre it's a, So we need a preemptive hope is good course. Okay. I feel like somebody should just email <laughs> hope is good course to this lady. So she's gonna go to jail. <laughs> she's got kids, Jackie. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be someone's prison wife. That was a bad joke. That was a bad thing to Mommy say. Mommy has a prison wife now. Question. <laughs> that was actually so <laughs> unexpected. See, you gotta get him. I'm so upset. She wasn't ready. I really wasn't. <laughs> okay, go Question on. four. <laughs> Try to steal my thunder. Fuck off. Nobody oh, right. likes you. All right. I caught him texting his coworker late at night. Kill him. He said murder. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He said it was nothing. Ooh, she feels aggressive. So I go to his job and confront her. She's six months pregnant. It's his. He sees me and gets on his knee and proposes to me in front of her. Should have kicked him in the teeth. How do I accept this new baby in our marriage? Bitch, love yourself. She clearly doesn't. So really, the advice here is, you're trash. You're all trash. He proposed to you in front of his pregnant side piece, stressing a pregnant woman who's probably gonna have a raggedy baby because of who she had it with, and then you said, I don't, wait, I don't yes. Think, I don't think you can call babies raggedy. Have you seen the father? Raggedy is in its DNA. I don't know, it's not looking good. Instead of kicking this man in the teeth because you had the perfect vantage point, he was on one knee. Probably, actually, did, it does say he did get on yeah. his knee because I was like, he probably just stood there and was like, So you want to get married? You said yes. 
Did he have a ring? Was he just like waiting for this moment? What if she said yes with no ring? You understand? Was he just planning for you to show up? That was his intention all along. Also, if he's texting the coworker late at night and he says it's nothing, what did you see that made you think it was enough to confront? Why did you confront her? I mean, she already tried confronting him oh, and he said true. it was nothing. But, so, wait, so she's crazy because she went to his job. She was willing to get everybody fired. Oh my God, did you see that Twitter advice I did where the lady kept trying to fight her boyfriend's other woman and kept losing? Yes. <laughs> what is, what's that was what's so one? embarrassing. Do you have no dignity? None. No self-respect? None. But what if it's most... one of those situations? She was like gonna fight her and then she was pregnant, so then. Okay, but that doesn't explain why she accepted Who told her it was his baby? I bet she did. You think when that she girl realized told her? when she realized she couldn't find her, she's like, oh, and she's pregnant. He's like a pregnant woman. Yeah, and it's his baby. Oh! This is your <laughs> This is your man's baby. But then the pregnant woman played herself because he saw that and was like, for all we know, who's gonna propose to the pregnant chick? But then he's like, oh, really? You're gonna put my business out there? <sighs> Honey, oh my gosh. I just, you were the one for me, minus this girl I just knocked out, but I just, I love you, so, I wanna be with you forever. I still cannot believe she said yes. She said yes. Like, that moment that I had when Josh proposed, and I was just like, yes, yeah, so me. She had that moment in front of his side, in front of his baby mama. After everybody at his job just found out he had two women. Do you think he got fired? She didn't put that in there. Oh my gosh, what if she's also marrying somebody who's now jobless? So he's a cheater, he's a liar. He's jobless with a baby on the way. And he's impulsive, cause I'm, I can almost guarantee he did not plan. But where did the ring come from? I don't think there was a ring, Zia. Wow, so low standards everywhere. The bar is on the floor. On the floor. Well, you know, mom's up. <laughs> Um, really Can you nice gifts at your wedding. Live stream the wedding. Oh yeah. Live stream the wedding. I want to know if that girl is there. Does she attend? Is the baby there? Wait, wait. Do you invite the pregnant mother of your child to your wedding? Well, I mean, she probably if she's six months pregnant, they're not gonna get married. Well, we don't know how months. quickly they're gonna get married because she might want to get married before she pops this baby out because petty. So anything is possible. True facts. Will she be in the wedding? Ew, no. Why not? No way. Why not? They would never. But why not? That's tacky. Okay. <laughs> Getting proposed to in front of the side piece isn't tacky? I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. You can step over the bar. You can just, whoops, <laughs> that's right there. I don't know, this, um, you know, I feel, like a, I feel like some of the questions the past couple times have not been Juicy, you know? This one made up for it. The, yeah. So many questions. These first four questions. There's still three questions left. Three more? There's three more. That's it for this video. Make sure you keep an eye out for part two where we're gonna look at what Twitter has to say. And then the second part of the questions, which is gonna be still featuring Dr. X because she's amazing and I love her. And so do you guys. All right, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's getting lit.